morning, we're here with Deputy Cooper. We're going to be talking about uh, security procedures, specifically lockdown procedures in areas we're not used to. Um, we do them typically in classrooms. We're going to talk about transition times um, and other aspects of the building. So, Deputy Cooper, we're going to talk about transitions. Okay. Today, we're going to discuss when students and staff are in the hallway, whether it be now all of a sudden a lockdown has occurred and or they have heard gunfire. First option is get yourself in a room, and that would be the nearby room going towards where the exits are. So today we're actually going to show what students are going to do when the hallways are full during, tra tra during transition. So now we've just seen our students come in from the hallway, and like you would in any classroom situation, one of the first things you want to do is barricade the door. Now when the students enter into the classroom, the door is unlocked. So the students actually need to barricade the door with desks, bookcases, the teacher's desk. And we now once the desks or bookcases are in front of the door, we want the students to hit the wall away from the door. We do not want the students standing in front of the door. The important thing to remember that during a lockdown is that depending on where you are for this line of sight, we want them away from this window and we want them away from that door window. So right now, where they are right here, line of sight is not an issue. So if the intruder looked in through the, the, the bottom window here, or the window in the door, he could not see students inside this classroom. Now once you're, up, once you're up against that wall, you've silenced your cell phone, you've called 911, the fire alarm goes off. You are to stay put when you hear that fire alarm goes off, when that fire alarm goes off. Now, if you see smoke, the door is hot, now you need to come up with an answer. Your answer is going to be exit through the window. And when, you, when we talk about going through the window, the emergency exit. Now, obviously being on a second story building, it might be extremely dangerous to exit out that window. You may have to go back into the hallway, but again, it's checking to make sure where is the intruder. Once you're in the room, it's secured, and it's been 30, 35 minutes to an hour, you hear no more gunfire. You are to stay put until the police come get you. That means if the phone rings inside the classroom, inside the cafeteria, do not answer the door. Stay put. We will e either by key or by force come in through the, through the classroom door. Now, if some officer is knocking on the door, you do not open that door. If he slides his ID under the door, you do not open that door. If somebody gets on the PA system and makes an announcement and says, this is pr the principal, this is the sheriff's department, do not do anything that PA system tells you to do. Stay put until we come get you. Now we're going to talk about lockdown procedures should it occur during lunch in the cafeterias, whether it be um, at High School East or High School West. So today we're going to have students, at one time or another, there could be two or 300 students in here. So now the lockdown has occurred. There is no immediate threat inside the cafeteria. So we're going to show you exactly what the students will do. A monitor on both of these exits would stand here, would pull the door shut, and then the students would get against this wall over here, getting down on the ground. First and foremost, we're going to actually show them barricading the door with one of these tables right here. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. So now we're in a satellite cafeteria we're going to talk about if there was not a threat. The lockdown has occurred. We do not know where the immediate threat is. So at this point, the kids will, the students will actually exit the cafeteria, whether it be at the auditorium or they're actually going to run into the weight room. So there's a monitor, two always in the satellite cafeteria. They have keys to the auditorium, to lecture in the auditorium or the fitness center across the hall. So now we're going to discuss should you be in the restroom and something happens. Okay, now there could be two students in here or ten students in here. Gunfire has actually occurred in the hallway. You are not going to exit the bathroom to check for a room. You're not going to exit the bathroom to go to an exit. You are actually going to get in one of these stalls, secure the door, and get up on top of the toilet.
Things have changed, obviously, every time there's another incident inside the school. Now we've actually been instructing students and staff in the event that they cannot find a room to get into, they need to exit the building. They're an intruder, whether or not they've heard the lockdown or whether or not they've heard gunfire. As an option, and a last option, when they've checked classroom doors, other doors that they could have got themselves secured in, we want them to exit the building. And when we talk about exiting the building, when they exit the building, it's at a full sprint, and we want them to see cover, which means into a tree line or behind a building. At this point, we're going to talk about if there was an immediate threat in the cafeteria. All right, so now students will be in here, two or three hundred students at a time during lunch. A gunshot will go off, and the students have a couple of options. One, they're going to exit the cafeteria, run to the exits and get out. The other option is they could actually get inside to where the kitchen staff is and secure the door. Now with students, the option is when you do exit the building, it's the same as when you're out front. You are actually going to exit the building, get to a tree line, or get behind another building. So at this time we're going to talk about should there be an intruder actually in the satellite cafeteria. Okay, so now the intruder actually pulls out a weapon, fires off around, and now the students have an option, which would be your only option, is to exit the building, depending on where the incident is taking place. Now, if the incident is at the further end of the cafeteria, they would go out towards the front. If it's at the back end here, then they're going out these back set of doors. Now we're discussing PE class and things to do, whether it be if you're out here on the track or the turf, if you're on the softball field, baseball field, um, there's certain, certain procedures we want you to follow. Okay, we're gonna give you options. If you're on the football field, outside for athletics, we want you to get to the fence area, get over the fence, and get to the tree line. If you're on the softball field, you're on the soccer field, whatever the case might be, get to cover. Cover meaning get into the tree line. Now once you're safe, you call 911. If your option is not to get to a tree line, we need you to get behind a building, and now once you're safe, you're calling 911. So if we get in a situation where you are not able to hide and there is not the opportunity to run somewhere, in that instance, Deputy Cooper, what are we looking for our students okay. and staff? We teach our staff and students, run, hide, defend yourself. And we talk about whether or not a cafeteria, a classroom, if you've exhausted all your, whether it be the run or hide, then now we need you to defend yourself. And it's to the end, you have to defend yourself. 